you know, Vernon's always on the cutting edge of MIDI and technology, and we started in guitars, and we started with integrating MIDI and, and, and guitars, and it wasn't until about last year that we realized technology had gotten to the point where we could do this real thin wireless device. Um, and I think, more importantly, the guitar world has come to the point where using an iOS application, you know, using a digital pedal, uh, using something like Ableton Live is not uncommon for guitars nowadays. Absolutely, you know, because things like products like, you know, like the Factor pedals by Eventide or say um, the Axe Effects by Fractal or all the stuff, the Line 6, all the stuff Roland's boss has been doing. People are more amenable to using technology with the guitar. And so this product, the Living Guitar Wing, is the next step in that progression. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, as you've seen it, there's been a huge progression of, of electronic instruments for electronic music, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be DJing or producing. You know, there's, there's all kinds of cool MIDI controllers and iOS apps, lemur, all this great stuff. Um, and it doesn't, you know, there hasn't really been that much for guitars in terms of mm -hmm. controllers. Um, you know, it's just the, the guitar market's kind of been behind the electronic market. Now these two are combining. Um, you know, you have a lot of guitars using, playing through Guitar Rig, playing through Ableton, mm -hmm. um, you know, using all these digital solutions. And, and I, I mean, I think what we've developed is really the next uh, step for, you know, bring, bringing the digital world and the guitar world into something new, um, you know, without requiring guitars to play a crazy MIDI guitar or cut a hole in your guitar, take a drum roll right. to your guitar, which... I know you wouldn't do. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's how we kind of came up with the um, with the wing, and, and it's really been a long conversation. You know, we, we over years, yeah, over, over years, years, yeah, over years, and and especially this past year where we, you know, we just the the, the idea just sparked, and we you know we we called Vernon, and we're like oh, we have it, we 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 can do it, and uh, here's the concept, and started sending prototypes and just yep. having the conversation and what what controls does it need to have um how should it work um you know how should it fit on your guitar vernon's had a lot of say in you know, how to adjust because you know guitar is a beautiful device and you take pride in in, in, the in your guitar right you want you want if you're going to put something that's going to actually be part of the look of your guitar the aesthetics of that are very important and so Part of this Kickstarter campaign is to further develop this device and get it to market in a reasonably quick time. Um, and we even, just yesterday, and I came into Texas, Austin, Texas yesterday to film what we're doing today, and we were in the shop you know, with, with prototypes, like moving the clamp around and seeing where things fit. And so it's a, it's a really organic, ongoing, it's an organic, ongoing process for an electronic uh, accessory, but that's what you'll be a part of. You'll be a part of the development of the next stop, next step in guitar technology. And a lot of times what happens is, you know, developers, inventors, they come up with something and you see it premiere at the NAMM show and there's something at the store and you buy it and it works or it doesn't. This is one of those rare instances where you'll be part of the development of this thing of this item that you're going to get. You'll be able to be a part of the development process. And that's, that never happens in guitar. There's usually a lone wolf with a soldering iron that's making it happen, or there's a big company and they've got a bunch of people in a department working on this thing. This is very different than that. You're, you'll be interacting with a team of people who are really dedicated to, to bringing you the best that this thing can be. And, and for us, this isn't just a, a one product. This is the first of a line of products. Um, right. You know, we want to we want to really expand this concept and, and create a whole line of products based on the wing, based on this concept of having this physical, expressive control right on the body of your instrument. Um, you know, the, we talked through the years about making foot pedals. Uh, we, there, we we don't want to make foot pedals because I don't think the foot's a very expressive device, and there are already great foot pedals out there. But what there isn't is an onboard control that you can easily detach and attach to your to your guitar and you know use it with 
hardware, with software. Um, you know, we're going to release an API for it so you, uh, developers can make their own applications so you can make your own applications. Um, it's really going to be an open-ended -end device with some out-of-the-box stuff, uh, like the uh, WingFX uh, software that's going to come with it, you know, to get you started. But if you're going to do advanced stuff, like Vernon probably will, um, things that you've never seen anybody do before. Um, that's really the exciting part of it. You know, with the accelerometer, just you don't even have to touch it. Simple gestures uh, will be able to control um, different, you know, different sounds and different effects, and and you know, even visuals or lights. Um, you know, that's really the, the the beauty of the product. 